Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make oatmeal pancakes. Super easy, if I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Now what I'm gonna do first is I am going to take my dry ingredients here and I have a half of a cup of flour and you can use a little bit of le little less flour, like a third of a cup of flour as well, depending on how thick that you want your oatmeal pancakes. And if you want your oatmeal pancakes to be gluten-free, then use a one-to-one -one gluten-free flour um, substitute. And then we have one half teaspoon of salt, one and one half teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And the cinnamon is optional. I like to add the cinnamon. And then I will also add one tablespoon of sugar. And then I'm going to just give this a good whisk. Perfect. And now I have a large bowl here, medium bowl, and I'm going to add in one cup of old fashioned oats and one cup of milk. And if you are dairy free, then you can use almond milk. I am using whole milk. You can also use 2%, 1% or skim milk. So just put that in there and then we are going to just kind of give this a little stir here. Okay, so just push down these oats into the milk and we're gonna let those soften up a little bit for about five minutes. And once the oats have soaked in the milk for a little while, I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil, but you could use canola oil, avocado oil, olive oil if you want. Or you can also use melted butter. And I'm gonna do one large egg. And if you don't want to use an egg, you can use a fourth cup of applesauce or a fourth cup of mashed banana. And then I'm going to just come in here with a whisk and whisk this up. And then I will switch to my spoon for the rest of this and we'll just add in that dry ingredient mixture and give it a good mix. Okay, and there we go. And it might feel like it's pretty runny and soupy and that's okay. It should be like that. Now we go over to the stovetop and cook these up. All right, I have my burner set to medium heat. If you're using a pancake griddle, it'll be at 350 Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to just take a scoop here. It's a little bit shy of a half of a cup, so I don't fill it up all the way. And we'll just put a scoop right there in the middle. And then it's going to take about a minute 45 seconds on this side. All right, and then the way you, you'll be able to tell is it'll be dry around the edges. You'll see some bubbles. And when you go underneath it, it should be getting golden brown. And we'll just flip it over like that. And I could let it get a little browner if I wanted to. And this is the first one. The first one doesn't usually look as good as the rest. And this second side cooks a lot faster, about 30 seconds. I also have a little bit of oil. I just sprayed my pan a little bit with some cooking spray. You could also just use butter as well if you don't want to use oil. We'll check the bottom. Looking good. First one always turns out the worst. I'm gonna put it on a plate and do another one. There we go, and look at that, nice and golden brown. Let this go for about 30 seconds. Check that side, looking good. And I'm gonna cook up the rest of these now. All right, and when they're done, it'll look something like this. Definitely keep an eye on it when you're cooking it. 
that first side, it might even take as uh, few as one minute um, and as long as two minutes, especially at the very beginning if your pan is not completely heated up, it will take a little bit longer. And as it goes on, it might take less. Like some of these only took a minute on the first side and again, about 25, 30 seconds on that second side. And it'll make about six smallish pancakes. Enough, this is probably enough for two people um, or you can just eat it all yourself. So if you have a larger family, then definitely double or triple the recipe. And then you can serve them plain or you can put whatever your favorite toppings are on your pancakes. And I'm gonna do, I'm going to actually put a couple of these aside and do some honey and powdered sugar. And these little uncooked oats, they're just from the image that I took for the thumbnail. Well, there you go. Super easy, yummy oatmeal pancakes. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, look at that. Mmm.